All right, everybody. I was down here checking some cars to uh, see what we're gonna keep and crush, and I came across this one. This is something you don't see anymore, a Pontiac Transport van. Uh, this is a, definitely an oddball van. We don't get these in very often. Very unique. Uh, this is actually going to be getting crushed because we'll never sell anything on this. But what a, uh, <laughs> what a weird looking van this thing is. To be honest, I have not seen one of these in probably 15 years. I mean, this thing, you just don't see them anymore. What a weird looking van. Um, obviously this one here is a little ragged out probably because it's hard to find some parts for it This glass here is missing the tail lights been busted out uh, But the rest of it don't look too bad uh, the lock cylinder and that door's been busted out That tail light there is broken as well The regulators are probably bad because the windows are down Yep, that one's bad. Missing a wheel. They threw a spare on it. This headlight here is hanging out. Tabs are probably broke on it. This window here came off the track. Typical Chevy. They got a little clip right here. Plastic one, that clip in there, and it holds it into the track. Well, when it breaks, it falls out. So this one actually feels all the way off the regulator. But this is such a weird vehicle. Like, I don't... It's just... Gosh, it's weird. It's composite. Like, the, the vehicle is composite. This door is actually like a fiberglass or plastic door. There's no metal in this door except for the... You know, probably a metal bar in there for crashes. And then... Like, this is all glued together and I swear it feels all composite to me which I mean I could be wrong but see that's metal but this all feels like plastic fiberglass hard hard composite material even the back door is also plastic it's got some crazy uh, body moldings. Just, I don't know. It's kind of a, you either love it or you hate it. I just, I'm undecided on this thing. Just the styling of it is just so weird. And you know, I had to go with the Pontiac grill, but it's sitting so low on the bumper. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Words can't describe how weird this thing looks. I'll check under, see the, even the hood, the hood ain't even metal. All right, I don't know what we got for a motor here. There we go. Let's see, 3.1 liter with throttle body injection. I bet you that thing was a turd. Automatic transmission. At least it give you a little bit of room to work on this thing. Distributor. Yeah, this, I don't know, man. This thing is just so weird. Like the whole, look at the size of this windshield. Massive. You got one sliding door on the rear. Let's see if it even opens. It does still open. One big bench seat. I don't think that's bolted down. No? Dang, that's where it sits. How the heck are you supposed to fit someone in there? Big back 
section, I guess, to throw some stuff in it. Wow. I figured you'd have more room in there, but I guess not. Let's take a look on the inside. Typical GM door handles of the time. They always break. I had a Pontiac. 93 or 4 Grand Grand Prix. You know they got the door handles up on the on the pillar of the door every winter. Never failed. It would get cold, it'd rain, it'd freeze it, and then you go to open it and they'd break. They got really hard to find after a while. Uh, manual door mirrors, they don't work no more. The window control is missing. Still got the lock control, doesn't matter though. Bucket seats in the front, center console, doesn't look like the center console went with this vehicle because this is gray. And this vehicle is tan interior. Radio is missing. Heater AC control is still there. Showing 196,000 miles. Column shift with a key. You got your light switches over here. Very weird vehicle. I'm very surprised that this whole car is like a like plastic. That that surprised me. Look at the size of the front glass right there. Bet you that was a pain to cut out if you ever had to replace it. Vents, uh, vent side door or side quarter glasses. Don't know this one here. Yeah, this one here popped out as well. He had the spot where it mounted right here, and then the hinges are right here. But that's busted out. I wonder how many of these are actually still out there. This actually had ABS. Probably one of the first ones to have that. Oh yeah, I gotta get the VIN. Forgot, I gotta get the VIN for you guys. Yeah, tag is gone. There's this one. Focus. There you go. So this is gonna be a 92. Curious if this whole thing is composite. What's the underside look like? So yeah, unibody construction. Hey, all right, still has a factory converter on it. That's pretty rare. gas door. I wonder if it's got a popper on the inside. I think I just screwed that up. Nope. Oh, yep. It's right there. Yeah, it's stuck. I pushed it in and it won't come out. Oh well. Anyway, figure you guys should check that thing out before it gets processed. It's just a, a weird, weird vehicle. Looks like a door stop with a body kit. Alright, appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.